द लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ मदर टेरिसा मदर टेरिसा वॉज बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन टेन इन अ स्मॉल टाउन कॉल्ड स्कोपिया मैसेडोनिया her father's name was nicola and her mother's name was jana we are going to call you agnes agnes what a wonderful name her family helped people by giving them food and clothes agnes was just 9 years old when her father got sick and died the responsibility of the entire family was now on her mother's shoulders in spite of all the difficulties her mother ensured that her children attended a good school all the three children also attended the religious instruction at the sacred heart church at a very small age she showed religious interests as a member of a school society that focused on foreign missions groups that travel to foreign countries to spread their religious beliefs by the age of 12 she felt she had a calling to help the poor hello agnes hello father how are you i have not seen you for a long time where were you i had been to calcutta dear where is this place father it is in india it's a beautiful place father i want to help the poor and the needy sure agnes that is a great thought at the age of 17 agnes decided to become a nun mother i have to tell you something what is it dear i want to become a nun agnes you must put your hand in god's hand and walk all the way with him thank you so much mother when she was 18 agnes left home to join a community of irish nuns the sisters of loreto who had a mission in calcutta india she received training in dublin ireland and in darjeeling taking her first religious vows in 1928 she took the name teresa in the year 1931 and at the same time she took her vows she initially worked at a hospital in bengal she then joined the saint mary's high school in calcutta as a teacher she used to share her food with the poor children here children you can have food from my plate she was loved by all the children one day while traveling to darjeeling by train teresa found her real calling she heard the call that transformed her life i want to spend my entire life helping the poor and the needy as you wish teresa Teresa took training in healthcare and started her work by treating the people in the slums of Calcutta. She started giving free medical treatments to the poor. People were impressed by her work and they started by giving donations in form of medicines, food and even money. In February 1949 a former student of sister Teresa named Subhashini a Bengali girl from a rich family came to meet her Hello sister how are you Oh Subhashini it's you it has been such a long time Sister I always wanted to help the poor and the needy Will you please allow me to join your ministry? That's great. But are your parents okay with it? Yes, sister. I have convinced them. Then it's fine. You can join us. In the same way, one by one, many joined the ministry of Teresa. 
By the end of the year, Teresa's ministry had 10 members. All of them had the same motive, to serve the poor and the needy. None of them received any payments for their services and their sole personal wealth was two saris, some personal belongings and a prayer book. The disciples followed a very simple and disciplined way of life. They used to get up early for prayer and mass. Their breakfast was also very simple, chapati and tea. Every day they visited the slums and helped the needy. Sister Teresa was now called Mother Teresa by everyone and her group was known as Missionaries of Charity. Members took the traditional vows of poverty, chastity and obedience. They also added a fourth vow to give free service to the poor. The Missionaries of Charity received considerable publicity and Mother Teresa used it for the benefit of the people. In 1957, they began to work with lepers, those suffering from leprosy, a terrible infectious disease, and slowly expanded their educational work, at one point running nine elementary schools in Calcutta. They also opened a home for orphans and abandoned children. Before long, they had a presence in more than 22 Indian cities. Mother Teresa also visited other countries such as Sri Lanka, Australia, Tanzania, Venezuela and Italy to begin new foundations. In 1979, Mother Teresa was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. By then, the missionaries of charity had opened 61 new houses in 21 countries around the world. I would like to invite all of you to pray. It is not enough to love God. You also have to love the people and help the needy. One day, Mother Teresa was invited to meet the Pope, John Paul II. She was filled with joy on hearing this as she always wanted to meet the Pope from a very long time. Mother Teresa, you have become a very important public figure. Yes, people appreciate my work, but I am only doing my work. I wish many people think and work like you. This world will become a much better place. Thank you for the kind words. Mother Teresa left us on 5th September 1997. She was granted a state funeral by the Indian government as a gratitude for her services to the poor. At the time of her death, Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity had over 4,000 sisters and an associated brotherhood of around 300 members, operating 610 missions in 123 countries. Mother Teresa's life has a lasting impact on the next generation of missionaries as well as on the entire world.